See this van? This simple, unassuming van? It's not very big. The distance from this door here to this door here interior is only nine and a half feet. So what could be done in nine and a half feet? Well, if you want a queen size bed in here, there's not much room for much else. So there's a queen size bed in a box and a place to sit. Well, that's pretty uninteresting. And from the back, underneath, just two boxes and a board and a bed. So to someone with no imagination, it doesn't look like much. But to someone with imagination like me, I see a dining room for four people. I see a desk, a mobile office. I see a lounger. I see a full bathroom that is partitioned to its own self with a shower and a toilet. Now I'm not done yet. I'm not anywhere near done, but I'm gonna show you a few tricks. Let's set up for dining. Now we're starting to get more room here, that's for sure. And now we've got the bed tilted up all the way to the ceiling and that pushes it back. And I got my computer there so you can kind of notebook computer so you can kind of get a sense of scale. So one goal, the big goal was to maintain all the panoramic views, not have anything covering the windows. Well, we got that checked off. Now, dining for four. You could get maybe three on there, but let's not push it. So one, two, three. Oh, came up a little short here for number four, but not a problem. A viewer came up with a fantastic idea, which solved this problem. Now, I got a lot of grief from viewers about use of two by fours, but I have a very good reason for the, using those, and I haven't even got to that part. But in the meantime, what's been amazing is I have this pull-out prop, which we'll use later, and it's in this orientation has incredible strength. So when it ends up coming all the way across here, I thought I was going to have to build a support, but I have checked it, and it can freestand on its own. Not only that, I made a seat for it, and the seat completely holds me 185 and does not budge one way or another. So how's that made? Well, I've got two little ones here, two little brackets here, and it fits very tight, and they fit into the slots there. And on the bottom, I've made this here. And so when it goes on, it fits very snugly, and that'll get painted, and I'll have to make cushions for everything. But that worked out extremely well. It's gonna come in handy again for another setup, when we design, when I show you the design for the indoor outdoor kitchen. Here is the recliner. I haven't designed the prop yet, but you'll see that this could be set back and you can lean back on some cushions. Also underneath is the refrigerator. And I've made this so that it can, it can just sit right there and it'll hold it while you get inside here. Or if you want, you can flip it all the way back. And you could use this for prep area, kitchen area, whatever you want to use it for. Plus this one over here. Now we're starting to see maybe something of a kitchen. So all this room for cooking, here's a sink. We'll have some water go into that, but it's not going to drain. And then here's our outdoor cooking area. So you put this all together. Now you could make this as long as you want. You can bring this out and bring it even a board even bigger and it could still i wouldn't leave plenty of room for a person to get in out without knocking it but it's plenty of room for to make that bigger you could also make it wider i didn't make it very wide you could bring it out quite a bit more um, and still not impact the door you're probably wondering what's going on in the back it's still just those two boxes but as you can see this piece is hinged on a piano hinge and it pops up it's got a lot of cutouts to clear various things because that's coming up next and cut some finger holes here under, and two underneath for moving it back and forth. The front piece is sitting on uh, stapled scrap, uh, carpet scraps underneath it, but on the back that looked horrible. So I have these little fuzzy, uh, these little fuzzy things here and they slide real nice on there. And another interesting feature is now there is a pass through from here all the way to the front dashboard. So what are we gonna do with all this space in the back? Well, there's not much room to do much. But if you got some imagination, there's tons of room. Okay, so still two boxes, doesn't look any deal. And let's tilt up just a little bit. Let's walk forward. Anyway, this thing's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Good grief. How big is this room? Well, it's six and a half feet long, about five feet wide, about five feet two inches tall. 
that's a lot of room. What could be done back here? Well, of course, a full bathroom with a shower and pretty much stand up. So here's some storage here underneath here. Of course, I haven't got the sides in. I haven't got all the components and plumbing and wiring and all, but just giving you an idea. So I can sit right here and I can have a very nice stand up shower with just tons of room, plenty of room for a toilet over here. But you're thinking, okay, well, there's no room up front. Well, you're wrong about that too. So back to the side, even with it maximum all the way forward. Now, this can go anywhere in between and it's fully adjustable front to back. And I've got a prop system, I'll show you how that works. But even with it fully forward, has a nice angle and there's plenty of room for two people to lounge and look out the front window, watch TV and work on their computer. Still with a great view all the way around and you get to sit right here and look out the window and enjoy nature. And you can use this whole space and still have the bathroom fully set up if somebody wants to take a shower. Yeah, that two by four is looking pretty good. Here's a happy medium, I kind of like this one. It's kind of halfway in between. Beds here and you still have plenty of room over here. Just sit on the edge, put your feet down, walk forward. Let's check out the back. That setup gives us a nice four and a half feet to work with to build the bathroom. So I want to show you the prop system. I spent a lot of time thinking about how to prop this up because I wanted it to be infinitely adjustable front to back. And then I want the back to be at an angle straight up, even tip forward. So that was a tough one because if I did props, number one, they would have been in the way. Where would you put them? And number two is it had to be able to be propped up from either side. So if you're in the front or if you're in the back and not take two people. So I kept thinking and thinking and looked at all sorts of ideas and I kept coming back to one system, but it was so stupid simple that I just kept putting it off. But in the end, it's the one I used. So let me zoom in a little closer here. So this is the big hole, little hole system. Very, very simple. Drill one big hole, drill one little hole, and then I have a rope and every four inches I tied a knot. And so it's super easy. You just push the rope through the big hole, pull through a knot wherever you want the board to be, pull back, the knot holds it in place, and there's a similar one on the other side. And so they're tied in to, you can't hardly see it, but they are tied in to the seat belt up here. So it's got a nice strong thing, pull. And also I can, when I want to get it way forward, I can run that string through that metal loop right there and come back. And so I can go even farther forward. This, this system is so simple and it also gives a nice little bit of give when you lean on it. So it doesn't feel like a really hard board, but it is super strong. If you're interested in seeing how all this started and how I started building all these parts and the design and the plans, click in the upper right hand corner on the card and that will take you back to episode one, which will take you to episode two because this is episode three. Now what's yet to come? Oh, there's so much to come. I think I was going to build the shower next, but I'm still thinking on that, still trying some things. So one, the thing I'm really starting to get excited about is I want to build an amazing articulating table system that will let me have a dining room, that will let me have a desk, let me have a place to put a TV set on it, move it around, do all sorts of things. So I think I'm gonna work on that one because I'm excited about it. I think I've got it worked out in my head. And eventually I have to finish off the cabinets and put in the water and put in the electrical, but those things I've done before, and we'll get to those, but this is the fun part. This is just making it so cool. And what a beautiful space, nothing impeding your view. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll keep watching and see what comes because I don't have this thing planned out. And let me tell you, I love your guys' ideas. They are fantastic. Your ideas are great and then they give me ideas. So keep them coming. Thanks for watching.